Ah, the infamous Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, probably the most popular tube amp of all time. This one has been used pretty extensively over the last two decades. I'm assuming it's a Series 1 or 2, but it doesn't actually say. Here's Keith G in our band The LEC back in 2012. I remember Keith coming to practice the first time with this limited edition Emerald Green Hot Rod Deluxe and really digging the tone. You've heard this amp in our old music videos, shows including the time we played at the Rock Erie Music Awards, or the time we opened for Flo Rida at Celebrate Erie. Yep, this thing's got history. He bought it used, so we don't know the history before this. All I know is Keith G says, it's got the sauce. Well, 12 years later, she's traded hands a few times until I got it, and at this point it was in pretty bad shape. I don't have any audio examples because the hum and crackling was so bad, I was afraid just having it on was just causing more damage. I could take it to a tech, but this amp is so well documented on YouTube, I was able to open it up and see the problem immediately. Instead of just replacing a few components, I figured if I was going to go through all the trouble of repairing this, soldering on the board, I might as well make it count. Enter the Frommel mod. I went all out and ordered the Supreme OD Plus mod package. So John Frommel and his team claim that this upgrade will give you unbelievable boutique amp tones, creamy overdrive, and luscious cleans that are easy to dial in at all volumes with reliability for years to come. The package arrived with all the components in a bag. There was a website link which takes you to a few different models of instruction manuals. Choose carefully. Here's the visibly damaged components that I took out. You can see the burnt power resistor area on the board and these power caps which are a known failure point of these amps. Can we say designed obsolescence? All in all I removed over 30 tiny components, one ribbon cable and three tone pots. The site claims you can complete this repair in about three hours but I'm a perfectionist and I don't do this often, so it took me more like 13 hours. For those of you who don't wield a soldering gun very often like me, something to consider. Pull all these out to get this board out. And then I'm gonna have to be real careful of these ribbon strips. I'm gonna have to pull this whole thing out to solder on it. Most of the work is simply to cut out the old components Remove the pins, clean the pads, then insert the new components okay, and solder so right in place. Now we're just pulling all the pins out from the capacitors. So I'm just finding them with the plier. Removing the pins and preparing the trace pads was the most tedious part. And then, kind of getting this on there. Get that pin up so I can get this on it. And then, Yoink! Just like that. Anyway, if you're thinking about doing this mod, I didn't document every step of the way. Um, just be prepared for a pretty uncomfortable experience. You know, there's probably some way to remove some of these connectors that hold the board in place, but, uh, you know, the crimp connectors, I wasn't really sure how to reattach those, so essentially it was just hanging out of the amp the entire time I was working on it and uh, like I said about 13 hours of, of work on and off um, just make sure that you do get the right set of instructions I would highly encourage you to reach out to uh, the team there because there's been right four different iterations of the amp um, so there are uh, slight differences in it um, and then of course you know here's the section where there's a ribbon cable that you need to remove the entire ribbon cable and then uh, twist a pair of wires and and place them into the correct um, holes that and then also on the right uh, what is it v1 tube pins um, so make sure that you number your tube pins correctly as I did that backwards the first time all right that's pretty much the modification so let's see how it sounds Okay, here we go. I better 
stand over to the side, perhaps.
Thank you.